One of the things that Reza Studio's Automobilista 2 is known for is looking good, especially in VR. You can turn the graphics up higher than in pretty much any other racing sim out there, and somehow it doesn't grind to an absolute halt. But what if I told you VR racers that there was a way to make it look even better? I'm DDF Racer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how with this one simple trick. I can't believe I actually just said that. I know it sounds clickbait, but honestly, it's not. I've been using AMS2 for a couple of years now, and I've never heard of this before, so thought it was worth sharing since it made such a big difference for me, and literally only takes a few seconds. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Automobilista 2 folder in My Documents and find one of two files. If you launch Automobilista 2 in Steam VR mode, then open up the Graphics Config DX11 file in a text editor like Notepad. If you launch AMS2 in Oculus VR mode, then open up the Graphics Config Oculus DX11 file instead. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see three lines that look like this. Now all you have to do is change sharpening strength from 0 to 1.0 and change offset bias from 1.0 to 1.1. And... That's it. It's hard to try and demonstrate the effects of these changes properly on YouTube since, well, you're watching this video back on a screen instead of sitting in your car, in Automobilista 2, inside your VR headset and experiencing it for yourself. But basically what this does is applies a sharpening filter to Automobilista 2 and significantly increases the image clarity with an absolutely minimal, if non-existent, performance hit. It's like free super sampling. It's great. Now you can play around with these values if you like, but this is what I'm using on my Oculus Rift CV1, and honestly, it does me just fine. If you're using a different VR headset and have some different recommended values, then please feel free to share them in the comments below for anyone else who might want to try them out. Anyway, if you found this video useful and you want to pass it on to other people without actually putting in any effort whatsoever, then maybe consider leaving the video a like and subscribing to the channel so that it gets bumped up the YouTube algorithm and suggested to others. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this fake mustache all of a sudden, you might want to check out my Automobilista 2 Racing Life playlist on top of the screen right now.